we reckon that there's uh, a bit of uh, shenanigans going down down here. <laughs> and the question is, what really is at stake when, in a friendly, Spain substitutes seven players as opposed to just six? What's at stake? Okay, good day first, man. But I'll tell you how it is. It's the simplest thing to work out. There are laws made for the games. It is a friendly. There are laws made for friendlies. A law was broken here. Instead of six players, there were seven players who played. But I gave you must consider this. I did the interview this morning. Gordon clearly states that uh, Del Bosque spoke with him and said, can you add another player? And he said, I do not make the rules or the laws. You just have to follow the rules or the laws. But it wasn't an issue with him. But that doesn't justify that deed. FIFA has to deal with this because they make the laws. But again, let's, un let's remember how football is run, especially in our country. The panel of referees and their office, if laws are made for them, they also have to follow them. It's not Gordon's role to tell them not to play the seventh player. The match officials have to do that. Guys officiating the game have to do that. They're most likely to be in trouble right now. Hold on, hold that thought, please. Because, okay, watching the match, people yeah. would have seen Gordon was actually in some kind of a heated discussion, if we could put it, with some of the Spanish officials, as well as possibly with Pepe Reina himself. Uh, what, what do you think that was about if this morning he says he didn't have an issue with it? You see, that's what makes it tricky. But again, you need to consider this. Knowing Gordon, let's be honest, as much as it was a friendly, as South Africans, let's be honest, no, to us, it was, it was as good as a cup final. True. So Gordon had to act that way. He wasn't happy about it. It was clear. We saw it on TV. You could tell he wasn't happy. Maybe he thought about it later after he spoke to Del Bosque and he said, you know what, man, come on, it's just a friendly. And really took it like a friendly. But again, the laws are there. If there's a stop sign, you simply stop. You don't take a chance and say, I'll justify it later. This is how it will affect South Africa, the rankings. All the friendly games we play, we are rated. So we did well. We're supposed to go, to go maybe slightly higher or slightly above the other teams. But if this is downgraded into a training session, because some people are even suggesting that might happen or that should be done, it affects us. And we did not break the law here. Let's remember. So, so just, just to make sure for people that aren't or fair with all of the laws, yeah. uh, the law states categorically if it's an international friendly, you're allowed six substitutions. That's it. And anything other than that or more than that, there is nothing like you negotiate with the other team so they allow you to play the seventh player because all the rules, all the laws are the same. If it's a handball, it's a handball. If it's a yellow card, you get a second yellow, you walk. It's one of those. Unless you're trying to tell me that with every friendly we'll decide in a good jolly mood today. No, you know what? Yes. Let's not use the cuts today. Right. Today let's use 11 players, 11 subs maybe. Or let's use 11 different teams for this game every 10 so, minutes. You, so know, you know what I mean. So you say the match officials might be in trouble, one. they most is, likely is, to be in trouble. Is there going to be a possibility of sanctions against Spain for doing this? As well as Safa, CAF. Do they have any rights to make a complaint or do anything? SAFA can't do that. It affects their rankings or our national team rankings, Bafana Bafana. Yes. So it does affect us. I would do that if I, I, mean, I was in their shoes. But again, the merch officials should have spotted that. And I'll tell you, they work for SAFA as well. You know, in PSL, the referees come from SAFA. So they work for SAFA as well, just like they work for FIFA. Did they follow the rules? No, they did not. So you know the consequences. The nice thing about these laws is that if you break the law, you know the consequences. It, it's there. It's not something they have to think about. It is there. We just have to wait and see how SAFA reacts to this, if they take it further, if they do, and what FIFA will do about it. So here's a question quickly. Uh, when do you think we'll be able to actually get a it will response depend. to this? It, it will depend on how SAFA moves with this, if they will move with it. Yes. If they move with it today, yes. FIFA is most likely to, uh, to reply or respond by the end of this week. And then you know, investigations and everything. Spa Maybe someone Mata. pleads guilty and that, you know. Spamata, thank you very much. We're unfortunately going to have to leave it there. That was pretty insightful. Sure, thanks, man. Anytime. Thank you very much. That was uh, Spa Mavuso, SABC Sports Journalist, giving us the possibilities on last night's match. We'll be back after we do the...